upon a time, in a small village, there was a young girl named Serena. She dreamed of one day living in a royal castle and marrying a young prince. While walking on the beach, she heard a sweet melody carried by the winds. Looking for the source of the voice, she saw a figure of a man atop a giant rock in the middle of the ocean. Curious, she found herself moving towards the voice. However, she stepped on a sharp coral and lost her footing. She hit her head on the rocky ocean floor and lost her consciousness. When she woke up, she found herself in a strange place. Even stranger, she had a tail. She let out a scream and a man, the same man from the beach, swam in. He introduced himself as the prince and invited Serena to the castle ball tonight. He said that he would be crown prince and he would choose his wife at the ball. He said that he wanted Serena to be his queen and so he gave her a shell necklace as a symbol of love for her. At the ball, the prince looked around the palace for Serena. He searched for the mermaid with the shell necklace that he gave because he was sure it was Serena. When the prince found her, he told her that she was the most beautiful mermaid at the ball. Soon, he announced to all that he has chosen Serena to be his wife. Their love for each other grew each day, but after some months had passed, the prince who is now the king had to go to a voyage and left Serena in the palace. Serena began to grow bored with her life in the royal palace under the sea. Serena's role as the queen has been the same every day talk to the palace helpers and make sure that everything inside the palace are in order. One day, Serena wondered about her family back in the village and started to write a letter addressed to her sisters. Serena wrote, First of all, I'm bored. It's not what you'd think. Every day, meetings I can't attend, I sit and sit and stick. My fingers with petite point needles, ladies ignore me or tell me all their petty secrets. About this man or that, even his mistress, you would have assumed he had a mistress, gritted her teeth and had me come to lunch and whined about the way she was mistreated. And I suppose she's right, she was mistreated. The plumbing is appalling, but I won't go into that. Serena thought of her husband and she realized something about her marriage. He is forever brooding on lost choices he might have made. Before three days had passed, I'd heard midnight to dawn about the solitary life he craved. And fish, no, no, impossible with wives. Why not throw it all up, live on the coast? Or cut my hair, teach, what, little girls, and live at home with you? I schooled myself for this, despise you for going to meetings. Reading something instead of scrubbing, getting fat. I made enduring tedium my virtue. I'll have to keep my virtue. I could envy you, but I am sick of envy. Please allow me now at least to call you sisters. Yours, C. She missed her life on land, and she is struggling with her marriage. All she wants now is to swim, explore the vast seas, and just be free.